I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Tell me you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake, let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is. He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he, he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible bell killer survivor. Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Not again. <laughs> Where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. So I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Sorry, Juliet. I am. Um, I got some bad news. I... Don't worry, bro. She already knows.
mental hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, I better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. Okay. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, kid. You're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. We just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. Maybe these things on her desk will help us. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris. Uh, Iris Campbell. Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Hold tight, kid. I got this. Just need to get my eyes on the computer screen. Find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. All right, kid. Coast is clear.
Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right, let's get moving. As invisible as you help me out. What if I just borrowed the helicopter and left a little note? The bug's crawling up the wall. I can't get anyone to spray them. And not gonna try to squash them again. All the blind people put the restraints on me. <laughs> can't believe they put them on me. Just because they can't see the bugs? The thing to understand about Mrs. Gwynn is that her father used to become violently angry when she would walk in front of the TV during sporting events. I, um, I, I don't see what that has to do with... Any kind of anger, but particularly male anger, is really a trigger point for her. So I realize that dealing with patients can be a frustrating business, especially when they are on medication and they're less responsive. But you have to be careful. But she gets all, I don't know, crazy. Yeah, look around you. Why is it called antifreeze if it stops overheating? Doctor, pills, knives. Going to my cabin right now. Mice can slip under doors, little cracks. It's all just concentration, discipline. Time to practice. What if I just borrowed the helicopter and left a little note? this TV going on the fritz again? A cop got killed. Tonight?
You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Nope. Ugh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. Duh. Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess? Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. <laughs> Get to Iris' room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! Go! 